think of what it would be. Well, I think because Gareth, he's, he thinks he's so macho, doesn't he? That's what it is. Um, Gareth, you look great. You look cool. Mackenzie. Yeah, Mackenzie, well, I'm sorry. You see, that must happen all the time, doesn't it? Um, but you do, you look cool, when I, and I've seen you out once before, uh, socially, and I thought you looked pretty cool. But uh, as geeky Gareth, you know, you look pretty terrible. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, cross I'm gonna have to bear. The hair at the moment, though, is, is better, but the, the ponytail is a bit tragic. It's not my own, it's, uh, it's a dead man's hair. It's some it's extensions that somebody put in me for a part. Oh, and what, for a new, a new film? A uh, Terry Gilliam movie that oh, I did wow. The Brothers Grimm, yeah. Um, so, this is Mr Gilliam's instructions. It is, uh, you, you do seem to be dogged by bad haircuts. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I mean, the Gareth, the Gareth from The Office, I think could be as big as the Rachel from Friends. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. It, there's a little bit of the Lady Die about it as well, which... <laughs> but like a home job where they've done the back wrong and they've just taken it higher and higher to balance it out, and then yeah. that's what they've wound up with. A lot more people would be wearing that if it didn't look so shit. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you, and, and now while you were filming The Office, as go, you got married, I believe, is that correct? Yes, yes. Just, just after the first series was okay. finished. And so was that long enough after the first series for that to have grown out, or...? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, bless you, no, there's no mistaking it in my wedding photos either. <laughs> so in years to come, the kids will see that and say, Dad, what, what was going on there? Yes, yes. And was your wife OK about that? No, she, she would have preferred something different, but hey, it was the happiest day of her life. Oh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you must get recognised all the time, I'm sure. Do people expect you to be like Gareth? Is that the thing? Uh, Do they shout things from the office at you? Where's your stapler? Or Gareth, where's your stapler? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the jelly. Yeah. I bet you never tire of hearing no, that, though. Ricky's great. Do they do Ricky's dance at you? They, nobody's ever danced like Ricky at me. Yeah. <laughs> but they ask me how he is or where he is or what's he up to. A lot of people I know who, who, who work on the office with Ricky, he, he makes them crack up while he's performing. They come, he's told me that he's never managed to do that to you. You don't yeah. lose your concentration. You don't laugh when he's doing that stuff. Well, he tries his hardest to put you off when it's on, when it's on your close-up. He will do anything he can to put you off. And he's, he's discovered that, you know, audible off-puts don't work on me, yeah. so he has to touch, and so he, t he touches. <laughs> well, that's harassment, you know, you could well, sue. Yeah. Because he's got a few quid now. But I owe him everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> now, you know, here's the thing um, about the DVDs is, the first one I've really been enjoying, the second one, uh, there's a lot of extras due out any day now, series two. Um, a lot of it feels quite improvised. I know there's a structure to it in everyone's mind, but how much of it is improvised on the day? How much extra do you shoot that doesn't make it into the show? Actually, not, not very much of it's improvised, simply because it's all there on the page when, when we get it. So, I mean, we're allowed to come away from the script, but, but so much shot just because we're always cracking up. Mm. The other people are cracking up. I not you, because no. you're, you're the professional in the group. <laughs> well, that, either that or the miserable bastard. But, uh... Or, alternatively, <laughs> is it you want to be touched by Ricky? Could that be it? <laughs> that seems, yeah. Um, we have a bit here. This is available where if you get the DVD of Series 2, here's one of the scenes involving Mackenzie as Gareth that didn't make it into okay. the series. <laughs> Childish. Hi, aren't they? I'm in training. I'm in the army. Oh, oh you're in the um, territorials, aren't you? Territorial army, yeah. Yeah. What are you up to? I just make it a cup of tea, so. <laughs> fluids. You know, you're supposed to have a litre and a half of fluids a day for optimum hydration. Excuse me? I'm going to do about 20 of these a day. And I'm in training. Sit ups and squat thrusts. That's a great creation. Mackenzie, you know, one thing that occurred to me I mean, you, you're, very, you're a very slender fella, you're a very slight fella. Uh, do you mind me asking, how much do you actually weigh? I think about eight and a half stone. Wow. I think I've got cufflinks heavier than that. That's a, <laughs> there's nothing of you. Uh, 
Have you ever tried bulking up? Have I have, it? yeah. I, I, a couple of times I've tried, like, consciously, I've tried, the, you know, the protein drinks and stuff. It doesn't happen. Are you at all like Gareth? I mean, did you create Gareth, or was Gareth scripted like that? I mean, wh where does a character like that begin? Where does he come from? Uh, he, was, he was pretty much scripted. I mean, uh, I don't want to keep on pushing praise Gervais's way. Because, let's face it, he gets more than yeah, exactly, he's probably yeah. entitled to. Yeah. But, I, yeah, as soon as I read the script, it's pretty obvious what he's, what, you know, what the character was. So. Yeah. Did you try it for any of the other parts, or was that was the one you went for? No, that was the one I went for, but apparently it was a very close-run thing between me and another chap. Johnny Depp? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Johnny Depp popped in my head, because, of course, you just made a movie with him. Yeah. I mean, you're doing tremendously well. You're making a lot of uh, American Hollywood-based movies. Yeah, yeah, I've done, done a, a couple. Well, you've been in Pirates of the Caribbean, which I'm sure most people saw. It was a big, big hit, and it's still out at the moment. Uh, and you just, you've just come back from filming one now, haven't you? Yes, yeah, this Terry Gilliam movie, The Brothers Grimm. OK, tell us about it. Who's in it with you? What's it about? Um, Matt Damon, Heath Ledger, Lena Headey. And it's, it's, a, it's a great big Terry Gilliam fantasy... Yeah. Wow, so it's a big budget kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, it, it affects. It, is it very different making something like that or making Pirates of the Caribbean to the way The Office is made, the way you're treated, that kind of stuff? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, it doesn't bear much comparison, really. OK, so what would the differences be? The differences is Ricky Gervais not there trying to give me electric shock from the back of my ear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where are you off to? You've got yeah. another big film lined up, haven't you? I'm doing The Merchant of Venice with Al Pacino, of all people. Wow. <sighs> is, does, that, does that scare you, that kind does of thing? It does a bit, yeah. I mean, I don't know me Shakespeare, and he does. <laughs> you know what, Mackenzie? I think he's the one who should be scared. Because right. he's the one who's working with the big talent. Oh, you... It's true. <laughs> What's he ever done? He just goes, hoo-ha! Hoo-ha! He shouts a lot, rolls the eyeballs. You can act. I'm hoping that one scene when you're acting, he'll come up behind you and give you a little electric shock. <laughs> I'm sure he will. Uh, Mackenzie, I really appreciate you coming on the show. I know, I've never seen you do a talk show before. I don't, have you done one before? No, no. I don't, this, is my, this is my first. Would you do another one? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you do, I'd love you to come back here. Ladies and gentlemen, Mackenzie Crook. Thank you.